Hello everyone, welcome. Hope all of you are having a good day. Well, if you are having a good day, I can make you happy for the rest of the year or even forever. Because today's topic is the importance of kindness and its significance in our life. Now, in this topic, we're going to talk about how how kindness not only benefits others, but also benefits yourself. And before we start, I have a question. Do you guys think there's enough kindness in your environment? Because if you don't think so, it's going to be solved within this presentation. Let's begin. There's going to be three parts to this presentation. The first one is the benefits of kindness. We are going to talk about, as I said, kindness not only benefits the people that you are being kind to. The second one is, is there enough kindness and how do we boost people's willingness to be kind? Now, in this one, we're going to talk about a specific concept that you guys, all of you, need to put in your mindset to have a peaceful organization or a peaceful environment. The third one is going to be the last but not least because in my opinion it's the most interesting one. It's called why can't bad people just be kind? This one we're going to talk about how the nature of bad people. What why are people bad? Why do they become bad? And are they just bad from the beginning? But first, let's talk about the benefits. If you guys think that kindness only benefits yourself, you are completely wrong. Because it has been scientifically proven that kindness or the acts of kindness or the will to do good things are things that can benefit yourself. It benefits your physical, mental, and emotional well-being. Now, what are the mental benefits? The mental benefits and remember, this has been scientifically proven that kindness can reduce stress, anxiety, and even depression. Let's move on to the physical benefits. Although it's not a direct cure, kindness has also been scientifically proven to directly affect our heart, meaning it improves the immunity and the well-being of our heart. And the emotional well-being, the emotional benefits. Now, I think most of you have felt these em emotional benefits. When you are being kind to someone, when you compliment someone, when you give someone something, when they feel happy, I think you probably feel happy as well. For example, when you give your, your siblings something, you're going to feel happy. Of, your, of course, you're also going to feel happy for them. How to promote kindness? Now, we're going back to the question we said before. Do you guys think there's enough kindness in your environment? Around you? Do you think there's enough good things going on? Do you think there's enough people complimenting each other? Gifting each other? Forming relationships? Well, if you don't think so, I've come to you with a concept that is called the chain of kindness. Now, if you guys know what's a chain, a chain is metal, the metal thing, the long metal thing that connects with each other. Now, when you hear the word connects, it, it also relates to kindness. To, for, for kindness to spread, there needs to be connections. Now, the question is, how do we make this kindness connect? Now, we come up with this chain of kindness that can instantly fix your environment. Chain of kindness is a, it's a mindset. It's something that you need to put in your mind. It needs to be studied. It, it doesn't even need to be studied. You can, you can just put it in your mind right now and have the willing to do it right now. How do you practice the chain of kindness? Let's make an example. You go up to school, you meet your friend, and your friend compliments you. For example, he says, Wow, bro, your shirt looks nice today. 
and you're gonna feel good and it's gonna have the emotional benefits are gonna come out and now you're gonna want to repay that kindness you're gonna want to repay that kindness to him or her now it goes back and forth the two of you now have a healthy relationship at the start of the day which is a mood booster now that's not a chain yet it doesn't connect and it doesn't flow yet it only goes back and forth now how do you make it flow you're gonna have you're gonna need to have this willingness to pay it forward to the next people to the next person or people you you're gonna have you're gonna be having a conversation with you go up to the next friend the next teacher the next family member and you say you compliment them or you give them something they're gonna if they have the chain of kindness in their mindset they are gonna want to pay it forward as well and now you have a flow you have it's gonna spread around your environment and you're gonna have a peace you're gonna have a peaceful and uh, an environment full of good relations now the last but not least is why can't bad people just be kind now in your minds what are bad people I know you're thinking criminals and people who defy the law people who have bad personalities Do you guys think that people are just born bad because I don't think so babies don't just come out of their mother's womb and start saying I want to rob that store I hate that person of course not most babies are born pure then what makes a person bad well it's the experiences that you pick up along the way. The saying bad, it is, it's, a word that, it's, it's a word that I don't like. Because people have different experiences in their individual lives. Now, I'm gonna make a very, very familiar example. And I think most of you know this person or this character. His name is the big bad joker. I think you all know who this is. The scary face. He's the villain in every single Batman movie. And you know him as the person who just wanna take over a city. He wants to destroy all the civilians. He wants to rule the world. Well, do you guys think Joker was born as a, a person that wanna take over Gotham City? <laughs> of course not. Well. Let me tell you about his experiences. Let me tell you about his, his life stories. He wanted to be a comedian. He wanted to be, um, he, want, he wanted to make a career out of being a, com uh, being a comedian. It was his passion, it was his drive. He, he loved this thing. One day he started to, uh, he booked a gig in a restaurant. He was excited to do his first gig. He was excited to show his passion, passion to other people. Well, guess what happened? He was mocked. People said bad things to him. He, he was completely destroyed mentally. He, he doesn't know how to do anything now. That was his only passion. What can I do now? And in his mind, he has nothing left except for revenge. He wanted revenge on all the people that said bad things to him, which are the civilians of Gotham City. And guess what? Now his life mission or his new passion is to destroy Gotham City. Now, that what started it is the badness, it's, it's the evilness at the start. He's not the first person to be evil because the crowd that was watching him, he made him like this. He didn't, he, he didn't want to be like this. They made him like this. So in life, it's, how, it's about how you take these kind of moments. You experience a bad thing, it depends on how you take it. Depends how, how you take it badly or how you just move on and continue with life. If you don't take it well, if you're hurt for a long time like Joker, well, I hope uh, I hope you can fix yourself because it's not it's not gonna be a good thing the only drive you're gonna have in your mind is revenge 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 violence 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 and do you guys want that to just be your life of course not that's why that's where the chain of kindness comes in if people if those people weren't bad 
that he wouldn't want to he wouldn't he wouldn't be like this he wouldn't even want to destroy anyone he would he would be a normal comedian maybe as that is his passion so a chain of kindness the opposite is a chain of evilness a chain of evilness is also a chain but it's bad it's not good it's something we want to stop it's not something we want to continue now to make a chain of kindness continue you need to pay it forward but to make a chain of evil stop you need to stop it starting with yourself starting with how you take the moments the the significant moments and the specific moments in your lives that's all for me thank you